Is driver always the play off the tee? Today with the help of TrackBend, we're going to say, hey, maybe three wood is the play more often. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're going to be talking about tee shots and specifically whether you should be hitting driver every single time, which is kind of my game right now. Um, but uh, we're going to see maybe if three wood can be more beneficial. And so, uh, Thomas, I know you compete professionally, so you have a lot of experience in terms of course management. So, um, you know, what is the, I guess, you know, I know you hit driver a lot, but when you hit three wood and when you make that decision, um, what are the reasons you do that? Yeah, I think the golf course design forces you to either hit a driver or mm -hmm. hit a fairway wood or hit something a little bit shorter. Because if there's trouble up there, you've got to weigh your, your pros and cons. Do I go for it, try and try and fit that driver into that tight little gap and maybe have leave myself a short wedge in the green? Or should I lay back? Lay back, you've got a much wider fairway, much wider opening, give yourself a nice full shot into a green, Yeah. give yourself a chance to still make birdie that way too. Mm -hmm. And I know for you, you, we recently did the driver fitting for you, and right now we're waiting for your driver to arrive. So you've said that you've been hitting some fairy woods a little more often. Yep, I've been hitting the three off the tee a lot as I wait for my uh, Sim 2 to arrive. Uh, but I, I've noticed that, see, I mean, I'm not as far down the fairway, but um, I've been in play a little bit more, which it's funny how that works. Uh, but we're going to see, uh, I'm going to hit some Sim 2 Max three woods today, and I'm also going to hit uh, my current driver setup, and we're going to see the differences and you know maybe if I should consider hitting three wood a little bit more often off the tee than uh, than I generally do. Well let's hit some bombs and let's hit some three woods and find out the differences between the two. All right. Well that was nice and straight to start with. I mean I can't complain about that. Yeah that's a that's a fairy finder that's Little little pull on that one, but what's yep. kind of interesting is if you kind of pull up the dispersion pad, you can see it was it was going left. But if that was driver, it probably would have gone a little oh, further yeah. left. Still pretty close to the fairway. Mm -hmm. It's about 25 yards left. So it's still pretty close. That was nice and straight though. That was really good. Okay, so I want to switch over to driver now. I want to change this up. So I want you to hit four drives and want to check out the dispersion differences and, and numbers. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to kind of touch on here is your average curve on these shots. So when you were hitting the three wood, your average curve was plus or minus 41, but an average curve of 14 feet. Mm -hmm. We look at the driver, it was plus or minus 79 feet with an average curve of 93 feet to the curve to the left. So I'll bring this number up right here, your dispersion pad, and we can kind of see right off the bat when you were hitting the driver, yes, it was going further, but you will notice it was going further offline. Yeah. Uh, we'll notice with the three wood, I'd probably consider those three or four in the fairway. Yeah. Maybe even if it was a wider fairway, that one might have snuck in there too. You had two with the, with the driver. Yeah. So Right off the bat, kind of interesting numbers. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's terribly surprising, but it's it's kind of, it's cool to see it visually too, um, instead of just hitting on the range and kind of see where those dots actually are. Yep. And, you know, again, I'm not somebody that needs a ton of, of distance either, because I hit the three wood plenty far. So it's one of those where I'm on the course, I can make that decision, you know, and I have a little bit more informed as to, um, you know, I can still keep up distance wise, but of course more accuracy is what I'm looking for, so. Yep. And that's also carry distance. We switch this to total distance now. Notice it gets a little bit wider yet because mm -hmm. you had so much curve on the driver, it's going to then kind of curve further offline. So got I know one. you mentioned under your breath earlier, I don't know if I can miss this fairway. Well, <laughs> got one over here on, yeah. on the other side here and one kind of kind of stuck out there too. So dispersion was definitely kind of interesting. We take a look at the numbers and you can see that you were hitting your driver, call it all, like, 16 yards further than, yeah. your, than three wood. So yes, it was going further. It's kind of interesting that I'm flying about the same height, which is pretty interesting. Ball was spinning almost a thousand RPMs more three wood. You'd also expect that the two. Mm -hmm. You hit three wood pretty well. So it's really kind of interesting right off the bat, just the differences between the two clubs. So mm -hmm. 
Let me ask you, is there any times where you feel like you'd be a bit more beneficial to hit the three wood rather than the driver? Oh yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those, now where I look at this and you know, if I'm playing a course that's a little bit you know, tighter fairways, tree lined where you know, if you get into, you do miss the fairway, you're kind of dealing with trees. Um, it, does, it is a course dependent type of thing, but certainly there are courses that I'll play where three wood, certainly beneficial. Yeah, I mean, there is that distance versus dispersion debate yeah. out there. Uh, if you can definitely pick up scoring um, by hitting the ball further with your, with your driver, but you can also sacrifice on scoring if you have penalty yeah. shots yeah. In, your, in your golf game there too. And if sure. you're hitting, chipping out sideways, that's kind of yep. a loss of a, of a golf shot there too. So yeah. there's definitely some huge differences. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, so let's hit four more shots with the three, three wood, four more shots with the driver, kind of validate these numbers a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to see, sure. pay attention to the dispersion and your distance numbers. The curve was still less than the average curve with the driver, even though that was one you left the face yeah. open on. So there's one shot in here that you did sky a little bit, so I'm going to take that one out. But notice how it still is in the fairway. Mm -hmm. So that's obviously important there to note. Numbers wise, we know she lost a lot of ball speed on, on that one. So let's hit four more drives now. Okay. Okay, so we got four more with each one. So jumping back to the dispersion pattern, first off, as I would expect, the driver's dispersion pattern is larger. Yep. You definitely hit five there that were pretty pretty solid there. You hit a couple that you pounded, which is which are pretty impressive. But you notice a little bit further left and right with the driver yep. versus with the white circle with the three wood. Right, and I'm, I mean, I'm sacrificing distance, but it's certainly, I'm not, I'm, I'm out there still. Uh, I'm, I hit it far enough where it's not like a catastrophic issue to hit the ball, what, 20 to 30 yards less um, with three wood, so. Yep, and yeah. a good time for you to probably play this club would be if the fairway is probably more narrow than maybe 25 yards yeah. each, each side. Uh, and also if there's maybe a water hazard out there at about 300 or mm. you'll notice you're kind of here just kind of short of 300 with the, with the fairy wood or a bunker deep bunker or something that's would be penalizing if you hit it in there yes yeah so this is just a, I mean it's a course management thing um, yep. and I'm not gonna say I've been good at it but it's something that you know a lot of golfers maybe don't consider um, and that could be the same as maybe you have hit your driver 250 yards and there's a bunker out there 250 yards away you get your three wood, 230 yards. You know, that's a, this would be a, an excellent showcase of why that can be an advantage for you. Yep. Let's take a look at the numbers now, comparing the, the driver and the ferry wood. So first off, club speed. Your three wood's gonna have less club speed because the club is mm -hmm. two inches shorter. Uh, when you were hitting, we were actually hitting with the Ventus Black Velo Core, the seven X in the driver and the eight X in the ferry wood. This is just a little fitting insight, but it's important to play a little heavier golf shaft with your fairy wood than your driver. Yep. You usually like to go in about 10 gram increments. And also the length, 45 inches to 43 inches. I like to see about a two inch difference between the driver and the okay. fairy wood. So ball speed, efficiency numbers, no, it's the same. 149, 149. So you're hitting them both pretty solid there. Uh, driver was launching a little bit higher than the fairy wood. It was also on a tee. Um, so that's part of the reasons you'll kind of notice with when it's on the tee, your attack angle is up 2.7. Three wood, it was also kind of on a tee, but a very, very low tee. You're actually hitting down at about 2.2 degrees. Interesting. You don't really want to hit up on it too much with a, with a fairy yeah. wood because you catch it low on the face and it'll kind of spin a lot. Um, speaking on the spin rate, you'll notice the spin rate, 3,400 with three wood, 22, 2,300 with the driver. It's kind of right where you want to be with, with regards to those numbers with the, with the driver and fairwood. So pretty good numbers, actually. If for me, it was just that, that curve. Yeah. So your curve, 62 feet of curve to the left with the driver. We have optimized your driver a lot in the last few months. I know you would normally curve the ball further than yes, that to I the would. left. Yeah. And we've got a few more that stayed in the air today, which, right. is, which is fun to see. So if you haven't watched a video of when I fit Drew into the driver, we actually... This is a 10.5 degree head, open at eight and a half degrees aloft. Yeah. So we were trying to make minimize that left hand shot for you there too. So it's staying in the air. 
So your height is going to be much better with, with the driver there too. Um, curve, three wood, only 13 feet of curve and kind of a little to the right. So it's kind of interesting with the driver. A lot less curve on the ball, consistency a lot higher, three wood, less curve, consistency a little bit lower. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this is, it just showcases, you know, the three wood off the tee can be a big benefit to somebody that, um, if you need to hit a fairway, if you know, if you, on this hole in particular, you gotta be in play. Uh, three wood is gonna be a much better option than driver in those circumstances. So, uh, yeah, this is good. And that's something I'm gonna take away too, is I sit three wood a little bit more and you'll probably have uh, a lot better chance to score on that particular hole. Yeah, I mean, you lost 20 to 30 yards. It's, it's significant, but you still hit it 283 yards with a three wood. That's yeah. still pretty right. good, and you were in the fairway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's something I can take away, and I'll, I feel like I'm going to hit three wood a little bit more this year in 2021 now that I've seen this. So, Thomas, thanks for helping me out here today because I think I might shoot some more uh, you know, lower scores this year because of this. Yeah, it's just educational. It's not always about bomb and driver on every single hole.